Good morning, my Facebook uh, friends and my Mount Carmel Baptist Church family. It's so good to see you uh, this Sunday uh, morning. Uh, I thank you for joining me um, on Facebook uh, from uh, our location, Sheltering in Place. And uh, we appreciate all of those um, that continue to support this ministry in, in any way. There is a word from the Lord this morning, and it's coming from the uh, writings of Job. Job, uh, the second chapter, the ninth through the tenth verse. And it reads on this wise. His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. He replied, You were talking like a foolish woman shall we accept good from God and not trouble in all this Job did not sin in what he said listen uh, Job said shall we just expect good and not trouble because we uh, believe in God uh, from uh, that scripture, I'd like to just uh, share with you just for a little while this morning from the topic. Talking God up when life is looking down. Amen. Talking God up when life is looking down. Just pray with me just for one minute. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those that are joining us this morning. We thank you and appreciate all of those that have... Uh, uh, still maintain their faith even in this time of trouble. Father, right now I ask you to uh, uh, give me the power, give me the spirit this morning to deliver a word unto your people that might be encouraging to someone. Uh, bless now, in the name of Jesus I do pray, amen. Amen. As I said, talking God up when life is looking down. Most of us in, throughout our lives at one time or another have realized that some of our friends are not really true friends but are what we call fair weather friends. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. When your finances are good, when your health is good, when your family is safe, when things are going well, a fair weather friend is always around. Yeah. Uh, they call you, they text you, they they invite you out for a quick meal. They, they want to have you present at all their social functions uh, and activities. I mean, why not? Uh, the, the, the weather of your relationship is conducive. Uh, there are a few clouds. There's, there's not a lot of problems. But generally, the sun is shining and everything is going well. And they are just happy to have you around. Mm -hmm. But... When the conditions change, their friendship status changes. When your health gets bad, uh, or your family or your relationships get strained, when you have nothing that you can offer, fair weather friends normally disappear. Uh, uh, at, at first, they are supportive and they try to act like they're with you and they're going to be with you until the end. But soon you find out that when the weather changes, mm. the sun disappears and it starts to rain. When the storms come, then you find out that you're all by yourself and they're nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. That's fair weather, friends. Uh, you know, our lives are filled with all manner of circumstances. I mean, we have all kinds of things that happen to us. And the positive things that happen to us, we normally refer to them as ups. Mm -hmm. And then when negative things uh, uh, tend to come into our life, and we usually describe them as downs. Am I right? Yes. Uh, we found that life is filled with ups and downs and if you've been living for any matter of time you understand that sometimes you have ups yes. and ever so often you have downs now I'm not going to I'm not going to lie to you I, I, I'm no different than anybody else I relish the ups okay. probably just the same as, as you do but uh, I dislike the downs nobody likes the downs in our lives am I right about it? Every Christian should 
get some consolidation from knowing that God uh, 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 is still with us in the ups. Yes, and He's still with us in the downs. Yes, Amen? Mm -hmm. And one thing you've got to realize as a Christian is that your downs are usually just temporary laws. Yes. God is with us even when we're down. But the question still lingers. Do we talk God up when things are looking down? Yes. Are, are, are we fair weather believers? Are we with God when things are going good? Are we with God when we have everything that we need? Are we with God when, when, when things are going well in our life? You know, there's something about the steeple of the church. The steeple of the church always points up. Yes. And that just tells you that your faith in God is uh, designed to do the same thing. Point upward. I don't care what's going on. I don't care how the economy is. I don't care what, hap what happens in your life, whether you're up or down, in loneliness and in fear, in, 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 in happiness and in sadness, uh, all we need to remember that God sits high and looks low and we must look up yeah, yeah. in order to see him. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I praise God continually. I, I, I praise God for uh, even when my uh, experience, when my circumstances seem to be somewhat negative, I'm still praising God. And when life is looking down, that's the time to remember that God is still God. Amen. He is the God of our fortune, and He is the God when the weather changes, not necessarily in our favor. Uh, now, uh, this little piece of scripture, many of you have already heard about if you've, if you've been studying the Bible for a while, but it looks at a man named Job as he tries to explain to us, while God might shower the faithful of us with blessings, we're not immune to trouble. Amen. Just because we believe in God, He he tells us that we are not immune to having trouble in our life. That's right. And Job, you know, he was uniquely qualified to speak on this subject because he was highly favored by God. Mm -hmm. And he had material wealth, he had cattle, he had, he had a family, and, 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 and he was very highly respected and envied in this place called Nome where he lived at. Mm -hmm. and, and, and one thing you have to remember is that even though he had the favor of God, he lost it all when the devil challenged God to take the hedge of protection yes. from around him. Do you know? remember the story? Uh, his health failed. His finances uh, uh, failed. Yes. But that could not steal his faith in God. None of those circumstances had any effect on his faith in God. Right. Amen? Job had some friends, you know, they, they, they came to him and they saw his dilemma and they said, well, you must have some type of, of serious sin that you've committed that you're not telling anybody about and that's why you're going through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, just because you have trouble in your life is not an indicator uh, um, uh, that, that you have offended God in some kind of way. God... Uh, said that happiness and sorrow, fortune and misfortune, they're all in the cycle of life. You're naive if you expect all of your life to be good. You're naive if you expect to have everything be perfect all the time. You are very naive. If you never expect to get sick, you are fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. If you never expect to get, 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 get weak, if you never expect uh, 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 to be in fear. The sun doesn't shine because you're good. Yeah. And the rain doesn't come because you're bad. All of us experience good and bad. The sun shines on all of us. The rain mm -hmm. falls on all of us. It's got nothing to do with, with uh, 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 what you've done. Job said it would be selfish for you to expect only good in your life. A mm -hmm. selfish act. Instead, he held firm to his belief in yes, God yes. and resolved that everything belongs to God. Yes, Amen? Amen? He said, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 
whatever's happening in my life, the Lord's name is still blessed. Amen? Amen. Job gave us a lesson on how to talk God up even when life is looking down. Let me tell you something. I just want to talk to you about a few things about how to talk God up during this situation that we're in. How to talk God up even though our country is going through what it's going through. Even though you may have family members or you may be uh, not feeling so well yourself. I, I want to talk to you about some ways that we can talk God up. Amen? Because there are times uh, 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 when the world looks bright and everything is, is as they say, coming up roses. Uh, but there are few circumstances that combine together, as we're having right now, that cause us to go into what you might call a downturn. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And the elements of your faith and the elements of your hope are crucial during these times because... It's easy to become pessimistic when we look at what's going on. We're watching the news every day and we're hearing reports and we're watching the numbers go up and up about sicknesses and death all around us. And it's easy to become pessimistic. So I want you to consider three things this morning with me uh, uh, very quickly. When times are tough, you've got to talk God up. All right. Amen? Amen. There's such a, 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 a type of person called an optimist. Yeah. And an optimist is a person that sees an opportunity in every, class, in, in every crisis and, and a bright side no matter uh, how bad the storm is. Anybody know any optimist in your life? Uh, people of faith, we need to be realists because we recognize danger ahead. Mm -hmm. But we are just hopeful that with due diligence and perseverance, tough times will end. Amen? And those of us that are old enough to have lived through some troubles in our life and hard times in our life, we've learned that most troubling situations are not permanent. Uh, they, you know, we have seen storms, we have seen hurricanes, we've seen to tornadoes, we've seen health problems, we've seen fires, we've seen problems that affected our entire states or our entire country, yet we made it through. Yes. We, we remain joyful, we, we remain hopeful even through difficult times because we know that God is still in control. Amen. In times of trouble, people without faith, they see a couple of raindrops and they start crying that the sky is falling. Yes. But when you have faith, it doesn't mean that you don't have wisdom. You see the rain start to fall. What you do is you grab an umbrella, you get your galoshes on, and you yeah. prepare for the downpour. The difference is that one panics, and the other takes the proper precaution mm -hmm. and remembers God is still in control. Mm -hmm. Yes, you want to wear your mask. Yes, you want to make sure that you're social distance, but you want to remember that God is still mm -hmm. in control. Right. Problems uh, will not step around you just because you, you profess to be a Christian. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But you have an attitude of victory knowing that God is going to bring you out. When you keep talking God up, we do it because he's shown us so many times that he, mm -hmm. he can bring us out. So many times we've been broke. So many times we've been sick. Yes. So many times we've been alone and God has still brought us out. Thank you, Lord. you know, uh, those that came before us, our foreparents and maybe some people that, that are even still around today, they were confident of the truth. Mm -hmm. They said, I'm glad trouble don't last always. Oh. That's a simple statement, but there's so much wisdom, and, and that's, a, that's a, a message that someone needs to hear today. Trouble does not last always. Amen? Amen. Then, secondly, I want you to know that God is able, so you need to be talking Him up. Yes, yes. 
if, 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 if you believe all the pessimistic reports and you believe all the things that you've seen on the news and you believe all the naysayers that say that this is going to be the, the end of the world and it seems like the problem is insurmountable. No one uh, can possibly come up uh, with a solution to this problem. And it often appears that uh, 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 some secretly enjoy hearing the messages of doom and the messages of gloom and they want to use it for their own purposes. They, they want to scam people and they want to rip people off even in the time of the storm. Yeah. A doom and gloom report gives you the worst case scenario and ignores the possibility of anything short of complete failure. Everything is going to fall apart. Mm. Nobody's going to make it out. Mm. And when we get a pro bad prognosis from the doctor that sound bad and things naturally look bad to us. When your bank account runs low and checks start to bounce, mm -hmm. things look bad. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get a notice from your employer that, that you're going to be laid off because of all the crisis that we're going through, things look bad. That was the view of a, of, of a poet, uh, 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 Mr. Dunbar. He wrote a poet that, that was entitled, That Is Life. He said, a crust of bread and a corner to sleep and a minute of smile and an hour to weep in, a pint of joy to a peck of trouble, and never a laugh but moans come double, and that is life. That's what a lot, how a lot of people view life right now. Yeah. It's the side of life that even the children of Israel had when they were in captivity. Uh, they asked them to sing one of the songs of Zion and they replied, how can we sing the songs of Zion in a foreign land? In other words, things are too bad to praise the Lord. Dunbar, the, 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 the poet, he saw only moans and trouble and, and, and he said, it, as a matter of fact, it comes double. Amen? Amen. Israel, they just saw the trouble that they were in. Uh, but you know what? The Christian experience is different. Yes. We are not ignorant of the threat around us. We are not ignorant of the fact that people are dying and that they're being infected in large numbers. But our faith oh is unwavering. Amen? Amen? We can talk God up and we can still sing the songs of faith. Even though things are going bad, we can talk God up and still uh, praise Him even though things don't look well. That's right. Somebody asked, well, how can you talk God up when things are looking so bad? Well, I'll tell you like the old songwriter said, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I shall not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Amen. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Yes. Not the federal government, not the CDC, okay. not the state of New Jersey, but on Christ, right. the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sick and sand. I talk God up because he's able. Yeah. I, I sing God's goodness because he's able. I sing about his mercy because his mercy endures forever. Yes. I share the word of another songwriter who said, I sing because I'm happy. Yes. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow and I don't care what's going on right now. I know he's watching over me. Yes. And finally, brothers and sisters, you got to remember that when life is down, you got to keep looking up. Mm. It might sound odd to some people. They might think you're a little crazy. But I've learned that you ought to praise God. I don't care what's going on. Yes. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, In everything give thanks. Yes, yes. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That means that if life is looking down, you ought to be looking up. Mm -hmm. If you call yourself a Christian, you ought to be looking up. You keep looking up because you know that God turns bad into good. Yes. You keep looking up because you know that God turns broke into prosperity. Yes. You keep looking up 
because you know that God turns sickness into health. Yes. You keep looking up because you know that God turns jail into freedom. You mm -hmm. keep looking up because you know that God turns turns failure into success. Mm -hmm. David said in the in the 121st Psalm, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Yes. Yes. From which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes. That means that wherever I go, I'm going to praise the Lord. Yes, Whatever's happening right now in this country, I'm going to praise the Lord. Yes. I might be stuck at home right now and not even able to make it or uh, to a church or to a worship service, but I'm still going to praise the Lord. Yes. I'm still going to talk him up. Yes. You know, I'm tempted just like everybody else to experience depression, to get down in the dumps, to, to, to get blue when things start looking down. But you ought to look up. Yes. Talk God up, yes. even when life is looking down. You should talk God up, because if you're anything like me, you've learned that as long as God is with us, we're going to get some peace in the midst of this storm. As long as God is with us, we're going to get some calm in the midst of crisis. Talk Him up. Yes. We're going to get some gladness in the midst of our sorrows. Talk Him up. We're going to get some healing in the midst of our sickness. Talk him up. Yes, yes. A lot of us are discouraged because it looks like we're surrounded by sickness and misfortune and trouble and nothing but bad news. But we rejoice because we know something that the world doesn't know. Yes. God is working it out. Talk him up. Yes. There may be sorrow all around us. Talk him up. There may be conflict all around us. Talk him up. Yes. There might be danger even when you go to the grocery store. Talk him up. There might be weakness all around us. Talk him up because he's the one that can give you strength. Storms are gathering in the skies. But you better talk him up. Yes. Because he's the one that talked to the wind and the wave. Yes, and they obeyed his will. I don't know about you, but I talk him up simply because 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. he died on a hill called Calvary. Yes, he did. We should talk him up because they put him in a borrowed tomb. Mm -hmm. Life was looking down. Yes. We should talk him up because he stayed in the grave for three days and three nights. Yes. And the rest of the world was looking down. We should talk him up because... Early Sunday morning, Early. he got up, yes, he, he rose from the grave with all power in his hand. Thank we should you. talk him up because he got up. We should talk him up because he picked us up. Yes. We should talk him up because he turned us around yes. and set our feet Thank on you. solid ground. I decided no matter how bad this epidemic gets, oh. I'm going to keep on talking him up. Yes. I'm going to keep on praising his name. I'm going to keep on saying that God is good yes. and his mercy endures forever. Yes. I don't care how down it looks. Y'all right. keep talking up. Yes, yes. Talking God up. Yes. God is still with you. Still. Even though we might be apart, God is still with us. I thank you so much for joining me today. I thank you so much. New Mount Carmel members, I want to let you know that the, the church's mailbox still works. Those of you that have uh, 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 donations, we want to make sure that we have a church to come back to when this thing is all over. Please, please support your local churches. Continue to support. May God bless you. And may God keep you until we come back together again.